The new diagnostics dashboard gives a quick and easy to use way to review reported fault codes. The table lists all diagnostic messages sorted by severity. Severity classifications are critical, amber warning, malfunction, and protect. The legend reminds you of the severity color code. The number shown next to each item in the legend provides a tally of the number of messages reported of that severity across all machines viewed. Quickly filter through the diagnostic messages either by machine name, serial number, SPN code, or severity. Messages can be sorted by any column. Hovering the mouse cursor over the alert icon provides information as to how many alerts of each severity are reported for that specific machine. Clicking on the More Information icon will provide a detailed view of the particular fault code. The pop-up gives more information about the possible causes of the failure and troubleshooting steps. Move to the next or previous fault codes for the same machine by clicking on the right or left arrows. Detailed troubleshooting may be accessed by the button located at the bottom of the detailed view for certain fault codes. Scroll through the troubleshooting topic and click on any technical drawing or photos to take a closer look. The machines in your fleet are displayed on the dashboard in sets of 10 machines. Clicking on the next and previous buttons move between the sets. Alternatively, search for a specific machine by using the machine filter in the top menu. The dashboard displays only the fault codes for the selected set of 10 machines. The icon found on the right side of each listed message provides a quick way to go to the analytics page to view diagnostic messages. The new diagnostic dashboard provides a quick and easy to use way to review reported fault codes. Fault codes for each machine are grouped into separate cards. Easily move through all fault codes by tapping on the side arrows. Messages are sorted by severity within each card. Each card contains the SPN number, color coded icon for severity, a short description, and the timestamp. A quick summary of all fault codes is located in the top right hand corner of the card. By tapping on the SPN number below the icon, you will be able to view details regarding the fault code. This view also provides more information about the possible causes of the failure. Detailed troubleshooting instructions for individual fault codes may be accessed by clicking on the button located at the bottom of the detailed view screen. Scroll through the troubleshooting topics and click on any technical drawing or photo to take a closer look. At the bottom of the dashboard you will find an easy to use filter. The machines in your fleet are displayed on dashboard in sets of 10 machines. To move between the sets, tap on the next and previous buttons. Alternatively, search for a specific machine by using the machine filter found in the top menu. The dashboard displays only the fault codes for the selected set of machines. The new machine summary report may be enabled or disabled from the scheduled report setting page. Simply add a new report by tapping on the plus button. Select activity for the report type and then select owner summary. Select your preferred frequency of obtaining this report as well as the desired file format. To save selections, click the Save button. Finally, add a destination email address and at this point you may add in as many as you wish. Report may be easily removed by tapping on the Trash button. The Activity Summary provides an easy to read table of the total production, idle, shutdown and refueling time. If reported by the machine, the production summary presents the production matrix. For example, harvester volume, stem count, number of loads, etc. The fuel summary provides the total fuel consumed, overall fuel rate, and effective fuel rate. The effective fuel rate gives a more accurate value since it is based on the fuel burn during the time when a machine is considered to be performing work. This table provides a quick glance of the overall exertion of machines. 
The alert summary table provides a complete listing of all alerts detected and reported by telematics from various systems on the machine. A short description hints as to how to proceed further with troubleshooting. Quickly view the telematics firmware version that is currently running on a machine. Quickly view the control system software version that is currently running on a machine. Determine the primary dealership responsible for providing service for a machine. If desired, edit the machine alias for easier identification by your business users. If left untouched, then the alias used by the machine owner will be used.